Here we go for our rib video. We're gonna be firing up the Oklahoma Joe. Get those ribs going. Come over here. We got our chimney starter. And I've got about a quarter of the way full with briquettes. I don't have any lump right now, because I don't really use lump. I'm gonna fire these up to get my split started. Should be about five minutes. These briquettes will be ready to go. We're gonna be using a mix of apple and hickory today. It should be good with the nice spare ribs. And I got two racks of beef ribs as well. well. We'll pick back up when we're ready to start getting the splits lit. There we go, the coals are ready. Briquettes are nice and hot. Let's put them in. the mold. There you go. Let's add some wood. So we got hickory and apple. I will wait for that to catch fire. We want a nice clean fire going for the whole cook. Not sure what temperature we're going to be aiming for just yet. Maybe around 250, 275. We'll see how the day goes. Starting to get some ignition right now. There we go. We got flame. I'm gonna close this down and start bringing the temp in where I want it. I'll pick back up when we get it stabilized. What we got going on. We got two racks of beef ribs, which I have halved. We also have four racks of St. Louis style spare ribs. Here's the rubs I'm going to be using. On the beef ribs, I'll be using one rack with the Texas beef from Cosmo Q. On the other one, I'll be using the Oak Ridge Barbecue Black Ops. And on the pork ribs, I'll be using the Sweet Honey Pecan and Dirty Bird on two of each. I just got the Cosmo Qs to try them out. We'll see how they are. Everyone keeps recommending them and saying them they're good. So, we'll see. We'll let you know. And we'll also be hitting these pork ribs with our nice candy glaze. We'll see how that goes. I'm not going to bore everyone with rubbing these down. Everyone's seen that a million times, at least. I'm going to get them all rubbed down. And we'll pick Here's back up we're at. Everything's rubbed down. That's the Texas beef. That's the Black Ops. This is the Dirty Bird. And this is the... Sweet honey pecan rub. We just had a thunderstorm roll through. It kind of screwed my fire up a bit. Just waiting for the pit to come back up to temp again. And then we'll be throwing these on. See you out there. Well, we're just waiting for the pit to come back up to temp. We've got the fire burning again. The thunderstorm put the fire out a little bit on me. It's okay. Nothing I can't deal with. Let's get these ribs on. Uh, give the grill a quick little scrape. There we go. Now let's get the ribs on.
to get you in for a little view of that. There's the fire burning strong now. Once again, and here we are. We got everything on. I got one probe in the back over there, one probe in the front. That way I can keep track of both sides of the pit for the temp. Sorry for the bounce. And we're gonna close everything up now and get this thing going. Probably be spritzing every 45 minutes to an hour. We'll pick back up when I'm ready to do something again. There See you then. Time to start spritzing. I just added a new split. As you can see, we got a nice clean fire burning. Very nice. That's how it's supposed to be burning. I've been sitting around 230, 235 mark. Temperatures dropped a bit because I just had it open for putting a new split in. Here's what we're looking at right now. I'll be spritzing this, just the pork ribs, not the beef ribs. I'm just gonna be using a pink lemonade for my spritz today. If we get it working. Let me get this working and we'll pick back up in a second. There we go, now we got the spritz working again. Give me a good little spritz. Like I said, this has been one hour so far. We're looking pretty good for one hour. Fabulous right now. Let's push that guy back up in the pit a little. This one too, give him a little push up in the pit. Let's get the lid closed and get this thing going. We'll pick back up in a couple of minutes to you guys. Seconds. See you on the next one. Oh, we still got a nice clean fire burn. It's been about 20 minutes since the last time I've seen you guys. And as we can see, we got another thunderstorm pushing in. Gonna screw things right up for me. Oh well. Nothing we can't get past. See you guys after. If the storm gets better, I'll pick up again. There we go. Oh, it's coming down good. It's all wet. Everything's all wet. Oh well, hopefully it finishes soon. Get back to cooking. Got a little bit of a thick smoke coming out of it now. It's okay, we still got a fire burning. This is what we're at. Still got a nice clean fire burning. Almost time to add another split. And right now we're sitting at 276 on one side, 220 on the other side. Not sure if you can see that or not. We're at about the three hour mark. Let me give them another spritz. They're looking good. A nice color starting on these ones here. Beef ribs, they're looking like they're almost done. I'll probe those in a little bit, see if those are done. Well, we'll pick back up with any new changes. Guys, we're in at the four and a half hour mark now. Still burning clean. Let's take a look at the fire. Still got a nice clean fire burning. Very good. That's how it should be done. We're sitting at 220 on the one side, 204 on the other side. I just put a new split in. That's why the temperature's gone down a little bit lower. Here's what we're looking at right now. Taking the beef ribs off because they're done. And I'm just waiting on these pork ribs to finish up. Once these St. Louis style get closer, I'll glaze them over 
I'm only gonna be glazing two racks with the candy rub. Or sorry, the candy glaze. Well, here we are at the five hour mark. Let's see what we're looking at. It should be ready to glaze now. Oh, yeah. We got some good bend there. And we got some really good bend on that one. Those are bending nicely too. Yeah, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna get two of these racks glazed up. in the bottle that way it's easier to use just get them all nice and glazed over on this side flip them back over do the other side. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and glaze one more rack. And let this glaze set up. We'll pick back up after when we're in the house. Oh, here we are, everything's all done now. All glazed nicely. Got that nice rib candy on it. I think I'm gonna call it the apple pie candy glaze. Does it taste just like a apple pie? With a little bit of tanginess to it. Well, let me get it. one of these racks chopped open. And then we'll have a little taste of it, see what it is. Well, there we are. I've got most of this rack cut up. I'm going to be doing a taste in a second. Let's see what it looks like inside. There we go. Look at that. Got a nice smoke ring on it and everything. Looks beautiful. Let's get you up close for a taste. Okay, here we go. Once again, here's what we're looking at. Juicy. It's nice and glazed. Nice bite. Wow, that glaze with that rub, beautiful. Nice clean bite through. That was a good job with those. Turned out very nice. Anyway, we'll pick up after. I'll give you my final thought on everything. See you then. So here are my thoughts. Those ribs were excellent. That rib candy, that worked out really well. I liked it. On that Dirty Bird rub, it was very good. The Sweet Honey Pecan rub, not exactly my cup of tea when it comes to taste. I'm sure a lot of people like it, which is not bad at all. It's a good rub, it's just not my taste. I don't think I'll be using that one again. Three channels I'd like to tag. One, Pickles Barbecue. You're in. Let's see what you got. Two, I'd like to tag Barlow's Barbecue. Let's see what Barlow has. I'm sure he'll come up with something good for us. And last, I'd like to tag the Hungry Hussy. I'm pretty sure you can do something good for us too. Anyway, let's see what you guys have. And thanks for tagging me in, Kent and GB. Have fun, guys. Bye.